Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add the Google reCAPTCHA version 3 to your Gravity Forms. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into your plugins and you want to install Gravity Forms reCAPTCHA add-on. Um, it's actually pretty easy if you go to forms and you go to add-ons, you can just basically scroll through these until you see the right one, which should be here, right there, and you can hit install, it'll look like this, and then it'll take you right to plugins and you activate it. And then when you're done activating it, you're going to come over here to settings, and you're going to click on reCAPTCHA. And here are the instructions right here. And you wanna use um, version three. And you wanna do that because basically it's gonna upload the script to your every page of your site and it's going to automatically uh, and be put on all forms by default. So you don't have to do anything once you do this. It's just kind of a little bit of a process to do this. So basically the first thing, I've already got two installed here, but I wanna to upgrade to three because it's better. And if you want to learn more about the differences, you can click on this link right here, learn about reCAPTCHA, and it will take you to Gravity Forms article about reCAPTCHA and what it is and how it works. Um, so the next step is to go ahead and register my site on Google. So you want to make sure you're signed into Google and you're going to go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA slash admin slash create. And this should take you to the register a new site. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by giving it a label. And I'm gonna say your site needs me.com. And I wanna choose reCAPTCHA version three. And then I'm gonna add my domain name. So let's copy this. Oh, there we go, just paste it right in there. Um, if I wanna add any other users, owners, I'm going to go ahead and add my other Gmail address. I'm going to accept the reCAPTCHA terms of service right there. And then, uh, yep, we want to go ahead and have that turned on. And then I'm going to go ahead and submit. Okay, so now it's giving me my site key and my secret key. So I'm going to copy the site key and I'm going to go back to my site and I'm going to paste that in right there. And I am going to copy my secret key. And I'm gonna paste that in right there. And I am going to save settings. Okay. So I can go to settings if I want. Um, there are, if I needed to add any uh, other domains, I could change this. Um, but basically, there's nothing else I really need to do. If you use an AMP plugin, you could allow AMP pages, allow the key to work on AMP pages, and you can save it. But other than that, that's all you need to do. Now, if you um, are using API keys, please note it may tell you that you need a billing account, which basically just means that it'll take you to billing, you have to fill in a credit card information, and that's it. Um, you will not be billed for anything on the Google reCAPTCHA, but API keys sometimes get tricky and they want you to sign up for that billing account. And I can't recall if I had to do that with this one or not, but um, just in case, if you get told that you have to fill out a billing account, make sure that you do fill it out. It's There's a threshold of like 25,000 submissions, you know, a month or a day or whatever, very unlikely that you'll ever hit that. And if you did, you know, then it would charge you and it's like a minuscule amount. So I've never really had anybody ever be charged for it, but just to be aware. With API keys, it does get a little bit tricky and you do wanna be aware you need that billing account. So that's it, that's how easy it is. All I've done is saved this and now my site is set to use um, reCAPTCHA version three and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I don't need it anymore. And that's all. That's all I need to do. If you have any questions, give us a call or shoot us an email over at support at yoursiteneedsme.com.